Breaking these batteries sometimes it is not really fun. I break them hours and hours until my hands get hurt. It followed by the cleaning of these batteries and later on it followed by separating these batteries. I also have fun separating them by color, not because of any reason. I clean these batteries hours and hours, making sure to take out any wires so it wouldn't hurt you during the charging. It followed by the charging of these batteries, making sure they are all slow charged on the same voltage, putting them away on their individual boxes and a later for I will keep them away for at least two weeks later I will retest the voltage of individual cell making sure they still hold charge I will also write down the numbers of milliamps each cell has lost during this time frame I also enjoy separating them by colors just for the beauty of it, nothing else. So they look pretty. Now is the time to connect the Tesla fuses which take a lot of time soldering these fuses one after another. I try to fit them on the back of the MG Midget to see if all my 40 packs will fit on this vehicle. It is something really challenging. But since my dream is to have at least 46 to 50 kilowatt, which is almost impossible as people say I have to play this game I sit in my living room enjoying watching TV while I build my dream car it is something really amazing to me I go on and on on and on doing this every evening when I came back from work when I am tired. I go to bed when I got the goal accomplished, not when I am tired. I have a limited time frame in my hand. I am playing with time right now to finish my project. It took me quite some hours to do this job, trying to take off the engine so that I can show you the engine bay that looks so clean. Now you see how dirty it was and how the inside was so dirty. You take a look and see how the trunk used to look like. It looked like a mess. That is how the steering used to look like. The vehicle was really dirty and nasty. The vehicle has not moved for over six, seven years. And that is how the front of the car used to look like. This is where I took it to the garage and I started to dismantle everything. It took me a while to clean out the mess that was inside the car but I did it and here you see how I take the engine out of the engine bay. It is a tiny engine but it used to work. I kept the transmission because I had to use the same transmission in order to mount my electric motor in it. So I adapted the electric motor directly to the original transmission. 
I took up the gas tank and the exhaust because I don't need those things anymore. How I mounted the motor directly to the original transmission. I literally taught myself how to build this electric car because I have never seen someone done it and someone never taught me how to do it. All was research. I quite remember this picture and I know it was at about 3 o'clock in the morning. I was there and I was so determined to find the problem before I go to bed. Here is my friend Fabio Delgado helping me to clean up the mess. I have done this hours and hours. You must be a hardcore guy to do this every day. So when I took it to clean up the mess that was inside the vehicle after I tried driving the car with the deep cycle batteries. So I started driving this car with deep cycle batteries while my friend Aaron gave them to me to try and see how it goes. Unfortunately, deep cycle batteries are not good for the wrench I was planning for. It kept leaving me on the roadside, this curve. So, this is how the engine bay used to look when I started using my deep cycle batteries and this is when the car was driving with the deep cycle batteries. Everything so far so good and I love it and I'm building my new lithium battery packs. This is how the car looks right now and uh, I have completely remake the inside also change the steering wheel which used to be a very big steering wheel now it is a compact steering wheel this is the engine bay mounted with the model here i am with a friend taking a ride and so happy about the car here you continue to see the controller that I am using so after the first attempt I decided to go take a tour in at NASA in Houston Texas it was my first time going to NASA so I was really excited also thinking about the project I have left behind being in NASA that day, my head really opened. So you need to step out of the box every day to go check out what is happening around the world.